I know so because thanks to Americans uh, who are concerned about this stuff, they have observed this Russians doing that kind of stuff already, brainwash already they started earlier. And information somehow penetrated, I don't know, maybe through the Polish people that watched the whole ordeal. Uh, one way or the other, it got to Americans and within no time, uh, information somehow got to me. I find out about their plan, about what they plan on doing, basically without understanding really <clears throat> what's going to happen in the future. So now when I analyze this thing <clears throat> and I go over and I match the situation from the store, please excuse me, <clears throat> with information given from MK Ultra, now I understand why it was so alarming for them what... Uh, why they were so alerted, why why they were talking to me about these things. Now I can understand. You see, this is like a puzzle so you also place in a proper space. Because under MK Ultra, you think you could give a damn about this thing? I didn't give a damn about I was like... I probably was the guy that didn't want to even know about this stuff. I mean, I probably have made them nervous, especially with my behavior because my behavior was like totally dismissive ridiculing them whatever they want to do if i only could ridicule you i would not even waste a single second i would have done this under mk ultra uh i sure did not anticipate something like this is possible but when they cut your employment when they cut your employment on two continents and you have no place to go when you have forty thousand dollars in your pocket and you cannot go and rent apartment, studio, whatever it is out there, according to your own choice, that's when the reality kicks in. Uh, those are a different kind of circumstances. This whole thing was as violent as anything possibly you can do to a person uh, in, under so-called democracies. Uh, you cannot do more violent stuff than this. And it looks like it's all peace. It's like in, in a peace. It's like, it's a normal thing. Nothing is happening and stuff like that. We live in a very bizarre society, ladies and gentlemen. And that's a fact. I assume that this also answered one of the questions of uh, attorney from Belarus, I would say. He talked about those kind of issues too, that he would have questions and so be my guest. I am on the other side of this um, shopping mall now, I'm still in the ground in a basement floor but on the other side this is a big shopping mall as you are about to see this is a big thing uh let me just give you like a little impression and so then we move forward so you get an idea about how big this thing is this is huge okay this is basically what it looks like this was also one of the stores identified in continuation you're gonna see well i pretty much identified them all there was nothing I didn't identify. There was actually one store on the top of this building here that I did not identify. Okay, so you see this? This is a huge place, is what this is. It's huge. This is not small. Let me just do this one more time. Let me do it. Because right at the end kind of a give idea how big this place is this is big it's like three stories or something like this it's a giant shopping mall lots and lots of people go by um, when it all started this people got an idea that I would be doing they would show me all three floors and stuff like that uh, all the floors and they did realize that this doesn't make sense because it's it's too much damn confusing and so they started to train me on a bottom floor and a basement floor 
Uh, this is confusing. This is like a lot of stores. Under MK Ultra, you don't actually know which way you're moving, whether you're moving um, in, in where you're walking, you don't know inside of the mall because they have created such a, such a situations that yeah, you're going to see in continuation. It would confuse you on a space uh, where you were and so on. It's a shopping mall. This is not an easy thing inside of the shopping mall. On the top of that, this is boring as hell. We would walk back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. We wouldn't walk here for like an hour. We wouldn't walk here for hours. We walked here days back and forth. We would come here over and over and over and over again. And guess what happens? The person that is subject to MK Ultra, he expressed less and less and less and less interest. It's like a retard going, basically being dragged back and forth, occasionally ask about something and does not see the point in it he is rejecting the whole thing as much as possible it's obnoxious i never liked shopping malls in the first place the worst place you can drag me to okay unless i don't know i would be with my lady then i would subdue myself but other than that not my taste the next location is the most important location this is where the whole thing is going to end uh, I get the answer that this very store was already in 2013 uh, and the store looked just like all these years they had me walk back and forth, back and forth, but it was on the other side somewhere in this giant mall. Um, now this is yet something the most interesting part, uh, somewhere on the other side. Um, this is with what this video about watch MK Ultra and watch is gonna end. Before I go to that, um, I just want to ask them one more time. They did have me on other floors, on other locations. Uh, at the beginning, when it all this started, at 2010, into up to like 2013. And they realize more and more that it doesn't make sense to have me on all the floors, but rather to concentrate me on one particular location where it's going to make sense. I completely agree with it. So they left, thanks God, they left other floors and they concentrated me on this basement floor. So if you would say, I, this is important for me to accent. I don't know as much about other floors as I know about this one. I can definitely go and get some smell, get some feel, see it around. But right now when I'm here doing this in the room, um, I don't feel as comfortable that I would go and do the stuff like that on the first floor or second floor or something like this. I cannot say I would do the same thing with this, with like this, with this kind of result. No, no way that I would go like this. Um, I don't know whether it will come out, but I'm not just not going to do it. I'm going to do the stuff I'm comfortable with, stuff that I know. I don't feel like taking risks and basically wreck myself. This is important to accent, this kind of stuff. Let's continue. Let's roll on. This is the most important story right now. This one here. This is what's going to play the whole thing. The biggest drama. Yes, and and people know me. Fifteen. Thirteen. And she says from the beginning of the Galeria, that means 2010, uh, 2008. Very store, store, old store. I walk out of the store. I'm thinking about why just let me just get yes, 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 yes everywhere and walk out of here. And that's about it. But I know I'm gonna face a problem in a store known as Little.
This I already know that's going to be a trouble. I just don't know how big of a trouble it's going to be. I will explain. I go to another store. Where I am right now, it's, this is just like a small store that you would buy yourself a telephone card. Uh, but the stores like this, definitely the stores like this in the mall are. And particular store where I am also was transferred from another location what that basically means is that i had the same situation encountering with similar situation not the same at all but similar situation with the other store uh which i got the green light for 2013 but was on the other side somewhere and i don't feel comfortable about the answer just that this very same store was somehow transferred to this store here and i have a whole big deal here carrying with me not only at inside of this little shop where i have purchased uh, sim cards before uh, but i mean inside of this room where is a roommate from belarus I didn't know these things are going to get really, really so interesting. And somehow they just don't tend to end. But I get them crystal clear. So um, you're going to see just how big of a deal this is. Okay. So this is like a Mount Everest of the deal. At this point, I feel I didn't go, did, a, did a good job. Uh, just giving me and just saying to me that one store was the same but it was on the other side. Uh, even that I got a green light for one, it's not good enough. I have to know exactly where that store was. So I get back on a track so I know exactly what's going on. And when it comes to this store here, uh, the situation involved an incident with an American who bought internet card, SIM card, inside of this very shop. Uh, which very shop shop like this one not exactly this very shop but shop like this one and shop like this one is also on the first floor and it was they made a big deal out of it under mk ultra because we are in grotniki this is which uh before this i was in warsaw and that's quite okay when it comes to locations where you purchase sim cards for which by the way, not only I was told, asked on every location so far, whenever I bought orange card or um, a virgin card, not only I was asked on this very locations for the passport. Oh, no, 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 no. On a million occasions inside of this center here with people I was with inside of the room, with the people outside uh, repeatedly repeatedly I was brainwashed that they would like to have a uh, SIM cards phone cards but they don't have the passports what exactly that means so they cannot get it and so on and so because they cannot get it they have to use the Wi-Fi and tra la 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 this was the brainwash song brainwash song was a setup yet another setup which would supposedly make me believe that it would like completely confuse you i'm going to explain to you how the american guy who purchased this card came all the way of course this was not the case but it was the way they wanted me to see the situation is uh purchased the car in which and bragged about under MK Ultra in 2015 how good it feels in fact to um, that he didn't have to give the passport and so on 
and then when he came here to Grotniki, uh, he was like, you know, acted like a pissed off that they wouldn't activate him, that this was a terrible thing, that he's going to go and he's going to make a complaint and stuff like this, that this is deliberately making him a problem and so on and so forth. So when I came in 2018 to this location here in Grotniki in vicinity of Loch, the same situation they have repeated to me inside of this very store here where they have for which they have used employee from this store you know the lady said it was relocated the truth is that this very store this very owner have same stores on different locations so he's got employees he used this particular employee female to get her inside of the store and she would exactly sell the same type of uh, well, let's put it this way she didn't do anything against the law as my roommate here told me uh, from Belarus he is uh, he explained to me that this in fact this is a normal thing to do now he explained to me this so I would not even use this kind of issue in this movie but the point here is that omitting this kind of issue a big portion of the truth would be in fact hidden away from you and so when you hit such a big portion of the truth uh, you just release a lot of stuff that happened from liabilities so people do not understand just how heavy this whole thing was uh, and so uh, a lot of the stuff that happened therefore would not make sense but when I explained the background of MKUltra how did it all happen then actually you get an idea how twisted this whole thing was uh, yes you can buy the sim card in Poland without the passport you can get one uh, just with an ID he got one with ID um, that's one thing and what you can do is the next thing that you can do if you already have um, activated in the past uh, any kind of SIM card anywhere, uh, the only thing you do is you enter the information when activating a new SIM card from that other SIM card and you have activated the phone. So here the problem is not, um, the problem here is not that the lady who sold me this in the same fashion in the same way as she have sold to american guy who by the way was used to to brainwash to see things the way they wanted to see they wanted me to see things this now you get the taste of mk ultra no this is not what the problem is the problem is the locations where i was sold the sim cards prior to this one the problem is the environment I was in already in Warsaw and then in Denmark, basically around the people who claim that you have to have a passport in order to even uh, obtain a SIM card and stuff like that in Poland. So you see, this is, this is like a huge giant difference. In fact, they would not accept if you would give them the ID from uh, Polish immigration, they would not accept that as a way uh, that you could use to um, they have declined to me repeatedly every time I would present them ID from the Polish immigration uh, with that document they would not sell one to me in the stores not in Warsaw and not in Zgierz not in Lodz anywhere uh, but in this store particular lady went ahead and she sold me this ticket uh, when I arrived back to Grotniki this was uh, <clears throat> the first time I was in Lodz, uh, I was so happy that finally brainwashed, according to MK Ultra scenario, I repeated the same words as American have repeated to me, that I feel so good that I finally have a SIM card for which nobody knows is mine and I can use it whenever I want. Um, that this is actually cool, kind of. And it's like this it's a mistake again the truth is what I have stated uh, the truth is that lady who sold me the card did not make a mistake but the fact that I was even without the internet 
because I would not know how to, in fact, activate that card. That you can actually activate this card yourself at the postal office here in Grotniki. They told me that they cannot activate card, the SIM card. They don't have uh, a orange SIM cards and stuff like this. Actually, they didn't tell me they cannot activate. They told me they don't have the SIM card from Orange. Uh, no way would I even suspect that you can take the Orange SIM card and go to the postal office where they can activate you one. It didn't make absolute sense because they brainwashed on the MK Ultra so much that exactly what I have explained. But that is the case. The lady who sold me one in the watch, in fact, did not do nothing wrong. The brainwash on that MK Ultra was so severe, however, that even my audio recording exists uh, of how I have gone to this store where this uh, card was sold to me without being um, activated. And according to American guy, he instructed that I would I should even submit the complaint to Orange Business about this particular uh, employee about his conduct and stuff like this. When in fact she didn't make any anything wrong with it. Now do you understand the multitude of this conflict of this kind of garbage they brainwash you with? You would find yourself in an environment surrounded with brainwashed with the MK Ultra lies, and you would just completely, totally wreck yourself. So that advice that uh, you know, indirectly, that I would not talk about this issue is immediately turned down. This is too big of an issue that I would not uh, mention when uh, it. Uh, concerns MK Ultra. This is the world of lies I have found myself, which also relate to the situation with exactly the same type of psychology I have encountered here. Uh, inside of this very center pertains to a washroom, a dry room. It's like this. Always I would see the ladies here about five minutes ahead. Ahead of 10 o'clock, ahead of 7 o'clock. Whenever they would open the washroom, dry room, I would see them five minutes prior to that. And I would kind of laugh to that because why should I be waiting? I mean, on the first place, it's bizarre that you have to go and you have to admit. I mean, that you have to go and you have to pick up your um, clothing, dry clothing, or to give to dry clothing or to wash clothing that you have to appear yourself I don't know, four or five times a day at a certain location to the minute exact. Uh, and that's the only way you can wash clothing. And on Sundays, you cannot even wash clothing in the winter time because it's, it's nowhere you can dry one. You have no idea the ridiculous situations I have found myself here. Um, uh, for uh, how this was done intelligent and in same, with the same fashion, same psychology the same trick mastery the same way it's uh, basically everything have fallen apart in this mk ultra it didn't do any good <coughs> for about three months at least no security officer would ever say anything to me it would be like ladies would be waiting like five minutes before that i would arrive like 10 minutes 15 minutes and they would allow me to go inside even 20, uh, I don't know, minutes after the, the washroom, the dry room was open. I feel completely comfortable about it. Um, well, and then one time what happened was I came, no, forget about, like 20, 25 minutes after they would still allow me to go inside. And it was totally normal to me like for this like for three months then one time I arrived and you know I wanted to go I was like it was like 15 minutes late and I was like um, security officer would not want to wait 
uh, that was it fine um and this, uh, uh, i was told why aren't you here on time and this and that i was thinking oh you have probably a bad bay that's okay i didn't argue i never do walk away then the maintenance guy here very very witty man uh he is also a security officer uh, did uh, the kind of a trick that when i appeared like 15 minutes uh after i was too late i was not right at all but when you when they allow you i think it went like this on for four months that they would open like 20 25 minutes after the time they would still let me go inside without any problems even half an hour they would let me go inside it never was a problem and then one time i wanted to go inside it was like 15 minutes late and he wouldn't let me go inside this was like already second time like this and i was like recording the whole thing like um i felt like why cannot go you know and get my clothing and stuff like this or dry my clothing or whatever uh and i was like asking him uh, a question like um trying to realize what time it is you know if he realized what time it is uh, i asked him and please what time it is and he was very brilliant and i have the audio recording about that he said to me 30 minutes after something like this i don't know what it was um 30 minutes after and it was not it was 15. aha uh -huh. okay so now i have recorded uh audio recorded proof that he lied about the timing uh and under this type of circumstances evil easily again you would get impression the same as it was in the first case that somebody is discriminating against you somebody is doing something illegal against you and i was determined to get a little bit extra out of it at four o'clock the lady from bureau i think it was about i don't know four or whatever time they open in afternoon uh this dry room she was leaving home and voila what a beautiful opportunity i had uh, it popped up in my mind to ask her about the time too since i did other security officers who will confirm me it's just 15 minutes after uh, actually one guy said like i think like 12 13 minutes after 15 minutes after and she said 15 minutes after and she gave me a beautiful smile and the lady walked home i was boy sure that i hit the spot wonderful okay now i have the proof that guy is deliberately not opening me uh even a dry room they don't allow me to go and dry my stuff because i was busy like you have no idea running from here to library back and forth it was intense so but guess what i am also the type of cookie that there are certain things i don't let go live on the internet just like this sometimes i wait for the certain things due to the certain reasons there are many reasons why in this particular case i did and over time it actually have proven that i did the right thing because the rules ever since became very very clear when it's seven o'clock you are here to be at seven o'clock when it's ten o'clock you're to be at ten o'clock and yet you should be maybe five minutes earlier rather than five minutes late uh security officers everybody is just really nice with me they are not making me any problems these people were very kind they were very patient i think too patient but then again i have to remind they would not have to be as patient uh if they would just explain me the rules that yeah you in fact don't have not even five minutes uh more than what time is uh, for uh, you know when it opens then they also pushed a little bit further and they would it also would involve situation where I was just late five minutes uh, and the security officer was already closed the whole thing they were like waiting for me they wanted to make a deal out of this thing but I didn't in the end it have proven just right that I'm better off not making any kind of deal out of the stuff like this. Uh, not in respect to this 
SIM cards and not in respect to the washroom. But if you pay close attention to this stuff, it's exactly the same kind of psychology they have used. So you see, this is what MKUltra is used for. Million other stuff, things they have used, holes, all kinds of stuff, obstacles you would get yourself, uh, you would fall in those traps and get yourself. And so now I am inside of the store where American have practically purchased his card where I had the conflict with this lady who sold me this card and again uh, this is the store that apparently have had moving from uh, another location to this one here and I have to find myself again in time and space properly I have to set myself up before I continue uh, I know what I exactly do so I'm not gonna make a mistake in this process because this is not such a easy stuff but if you calculate one uh, properly if you know what you're doing then you're pretty good at what you do so uh, let's continue now I'm really disappointed because <laughs> yeah she said we moved from another location I got the green lights for the first tour 2013 let's make a little refreshment it's okay it was like th this that store already was from the beginning of the Galleria yes it was one of the first stores <coughs> but I remember what happened to the point where I was how they played me down with the two ladies uh, now I am in this location here and the store was in another side uh, this very store the same the same the same everything it, 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 what kind of a store is this? this is like a store where you can develop photos it's a store where you can uh, you have this um, I don't know right now fine like pouches for the cameras uh, objectives camera objectives it's it's a, it's you have tripods and stuff like that this is exactly that kind of store that when you walk inside it's got this sign it's like if you would go let's say to American something like if you in the US you would be actually this is actually so characteristic store and the name is Joker or whatever the name is um, you definitely would not forget this store and this was one of the stores one of the locations they brainwashed me and brainwashed me and took me back and forth and took me back and forth and took me back and forth uh, and I got to remember one especially uh, because I was moving toward the exit, 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 exit. Uh, and uh, I could not I could not miss the store. It's, there's no, not possible you possibly could miss the store, but the problem is when you're inside of the shopping mall, either you're moving this way or that way if the store is relocated to the other side under MK Ultra, you will not find yourself if you return back you're not going to find yourself in a space just like this this is like a real challenge for me right now and i'm determined to find out where exactly the story was i'm determined i know the story about this store i'm not going to be make it i know that store like this is also on the first floor and so on that they have other locations But I want to find out more about the stuff because, because I'm heading toward the store known as Lidl. And from under MK Ultra, I remember a few things that this is where the whole thing is going to decide about me. This is pretty much what I was told. And I even today, I still don't know what the result is going to be about that. I was brainwashed to see things in a certain form that, however... Uh, I have seen them as such inside of the Galleria, however, I don't see them as such anymore today inside of this room. Uh, the brainwash they have done to me under MK Ultra, you know, like that Russians try to assist uh, Germans uh, on, you know, it's a German store in a Belarus, it was 
a Belarus political asylum does not no longer is credible to me because why because your folks this happened inside of the Poland you cannot go inside of the Poland you cannot go inside of the shopping mall like this you cannot go into the environment where people have seen you before already the workers have seen you before you cannot go unnoticed and KGB is not so stupid and Germans are not so stupid that they would just go and try to do something like this on their own you gotta have some people inside of the Polish government uh, that you would use to something like this it, maybe actually to use because I'm sure they knew that I will realize this at some point in time maybe to disillusion me about the Poland which I have to say I love very much Poland for me are people in the streets Poland for me are people that you see walking on the sidewalks inside of the stores uh, Poland for me are people that wanted to take me uh, you have no idea they wanted to take me in the middle of the night from all the way from from Zgirsh they wanted to load me inside of the cars and bring me to Grotniki and I'm talking about the people that knew about me when MK Ultra was that Americans asked them uh, when they, if they see me at this location at night like this to just offer me a ride and stuff like this Polish people great people that's my verdict this is the real Poland the real Poland you meet out there uh, when you're dealing with the people and people are good people <coughs> Sure, right now you can you you cannot feel but you could guess that my ears are burning right now. I'm not like this that I'm gonna walk away from it like that, just like this. I'm not happy with just anything. So she says they moved to this location in 2017. In 2017, that's when I was brought from the Belarus. Belarus has brainwashed me that this store was here, all oh, this was here. This was already 2015, 2013. This is where they anticipated they would score the most. Inside, before this store, there was another store. It was uh, the most boring store in the whole shopping mall. The worst. This was the area where I was brought since 2010, right there. 2013, 2015. I was I would spend sitting over there like a, excuse me, like an idiot, observing people how they walk back and forth. Uh, some staff member would be with me working on his working on his um, Android tablet whatever uh, we would wait for other people that would do the shopping and stuff like this then we would return and so on uh, and I was uh, uh, doomed to look to stare at the most stupid store in the whole shopping mall uh, please, it's not really so stupid. I shouldn't say that, but it's a kind of a porcelain ceramic, like um, the most boring store you possibly can can think of. Like like some kind of a like a gift shop like fine stuff they would have inside porcelain stuff totally totally non-interesting stuff stuff that you would not want to know about stuff that you would not want to even think about as a male this was totally non-interesting stuff
Dawno. Do 2014? Od 13 bo to było tutaj. Tak. Gdy jeszcze się tu przez drugie rzeczy. One more time, I'm gonna play this thing here. Uh, the next store I go is Tsukiarna, whatever that is. All these stores. I go to the store next to, it's called Tsukiarna, whatever. I asked the lady if they were here in 2013. Uh, and she says, I don't know. She says 2017. Uh, and she says, I don't know. Let's continue. And I, I also want to know, I'm very much confused at this time. I want to know especially about this photo joker. I want to know how long are they on that location right there. On a new location. She said, I don't know. It's like this. I am very, very confused about this photo joker store. They told me they're there only for two years. Uh, the picture here is blurry because I remember this store in 2013. I was absolutely sure the store was, and uh, now it was in another location. Let's go to the issue. You walk back and forth. If the store relocates to the other side, inside of the shopping mall, you're not going to know. Uh, if it was on this side on that side in this kind of situation if you walked a million times back and forth like this and for sure you're not gonna know it's gonna be very confusing and you really want to know about these issues uh, in respect to Tsukiarna I didn't get the right answer I still didn't get the answer when they opened whatever it is and that's quite okay with me I continue to go on and I want to get the feel about the whole thing Confusion right here. For me, confusion. Here, I kind of a burned out. Um, but there is one thing I remember from MK Ultra very well that the last store that opened here was a little store a little store now even according to information that i got from the employee um inside of the little my information my question which i have used to ask her to confront her um the only thing that it matched is that this was the last store that opened but she gave me I believe what is false information just the store open I don't know at the end of the 2018 uh, which again would match MK Ultra brainwash scenario just as I have explained it should be 
uh, Germany and it should be Belarus only that would be blamed for it but under the brainwash I was also told but but um, here you're gonna know that something is not right right because in Poland in Poland we would not do the stuff uh, like this to you because we would not do the stuff like this to you not alone here right now and it's very hot and it's very mobile all of a sudden um, but you would know that in Poland we would not do the stuff like this to you let's go to 2017 to MK Ultra. Uh, how are you gonna know when you filed for the political asylum in Belarus you were brought to this location how the hell would you know that a Polish a Russian government are gonna exercise the most hard option possible in fact that just about a year later you're gonna be again on the run and this time you will be actually coming to Poland and that you would be transferred through the Polish immigration system to this exact same location uh, should be the right answer to my dilemma when I was faced with such issue during subjection to MK Ultra in 2017 would I possibly know that I'm going to be brought uh, in the future under these types of circumstances uh, to Poland no I would not possibly know but part of this logic suggested that I would be brought uh, that I would be brought back to Poland and that Poland would eventually resolve that obviously the story you see with your own eyes was open in 2017 uh, and that uh, clears the picture and leaves in the picture um, you know Germany and Russia alone and that would be like a Polish option again hura hura for the Poland at least this is how somebody have seen this option is but I gotta say there was a third player in this whole thing and that was a Putin Putanovic who at the end of this MK Ultra. Obviously, they have not used only one scenario that would participate, but pertain to the situation. But somehow, some way, somehow, it ended up like I you're gonna have to immigrate to the Russia, to the Russia, or they will destroy you. Even in Poland, don't you see what they are doing to you? You're not gonna have other choice but to come to the Russia and it was a lot throughout the MK Ultra about from the Putin side I want him to, to, to test this I want him to test that I want him to test this I want him to test the whole variety of options I also want him to get this and this and that I am not gonna say that this is what Putin was I'm not gonna say that he was not I don't know what it was I don't know what the manipulation was about this stuff uh, the only thing I can say is um, this is never ever gonna happen uh, I am never gonna see Putin as in any different light than an individual who ruined my life and he did not only ruin my life he ruined the lives of any other people and as we speak he is ruining a Russian reputation he ruined Russia and is gonna wreck Russia even more with his presence on the political stage. Man is a criminal and should be trialed on a war on, on a on a not on a war tribunal, but he should be he should be he should be trialed for crimes against humanity on whatever tribunal an international whatever tribunal. Somebody should hold him a liable. That somebody I believe are Russian people alone. They are the one they should hold him liable for his stuff. 
okay so that option is not going to happen either uh, i just want to see the picture as this i don't want to be manipulated i don't want to be brainwashed and manipulated in any kind of thinking here uh, i i did this a little bit before so you will understand kind of a what kind of issues was i facing as i was moving along this this portion of this galleria this nk ultra I have probably also ended the game this way. I played this obviously again, Tsukiar in 2013. Um, she says she doesn't know. And I, oh yeah, that she doesn't know. And right now I am like confused. In this state of mind because of what happened because this store was located on the other side the other store the other little store was relocated from other location uh, the lady says I don't know and I'm actually grateful to her that she says that she doesn't know because it's my job to actually investigate go around see it get the feel about it and then go and ask questions uh, people pretty much help me out with answers like I don't know basically go away do your job see where you are find out and then come and ask questions I mean this is pretty much her logic here and that's a good stuff and I understand her answer I am grateful to her I move on She says she doesn't know any what location they were, anything like this. I am left now to my own devices. I am heading to the little store. I remember this from MK Ultra as the last store that popped up. And I gotta say, they have orchestrated such a lemonade here in front of this store. They would get me in front of this store uh, in 2017. A portion of this a galleria was cemented. The whole picture that I had from 2015 completely dissipated, disappeared. A new picture appeared in front of me. Uh, all of a sudden where the stores were, the stores disappeared. It was a wall. You're going to see that stuff. And the big store Lidl appeared. And it was... 2017 absolutely when I was brought from the Belarus and as you're about to hear the answer I get from the little lady store known as little uh, it was that they moved in sometimes in at the end of the 2018 which totally matches this kind of a brainwash look this is the stuff that only not you know even the children would figure out not somebody of my caliber and so you know the Ruskis knew that I am eventually gonna figure out they just wanted to confuse brainwash through the hardship to the such a degree that you would eventually go and start to see reality the way they would want you to depict one as like it's actually the pollen that is doing all that kind of stuff to you no it's actually the people in Warsaw that are doing this kind of stuff they have done it for the russia and if they cannot accomplish it this way they're going to try to accomplish it that way this is just the truth i am not going to see it that way one way or the other it's not going to happen not such an easy thing to do like i said when you're doing a stuff like this, identifying a stuff like this, this is a big job. I prefer to go a heavy workout than a stuff like that. This is worse than when you are asking a school questions by the teacher. Yeah, I am already inside of the little store right now. Thank 
kamerę. Ale to trzeba zapytać sprzedawców na telefonach. Opa, I made a mistake. I got really confused about the whole thing and I went in front of the little store, I observed the little store the whole thing and guess what? I decided to walk away, go around the mall a little bit and clear my mind, set things in order. I had to use the restroom and so what I did was I headed to the top floor with all these thoughts. I headed to the top floor where there is a media market. Uh, earlier in the day, in this very same Saturday, I started the day somebody dropped me off at the at the media market in Watch, at the shopping mall in completely other location. Uh, I went out of shopping and I headed to that store and they had such a beautiful telephone for just like new one for 120 zloty and over there in uh, a Lombard they were trying to sell me a phone just for 50 zloty that only had 24 hours uh, warranty in fact in one hour the store was about to close on Saturday and uh, then it would Monday on Monday this telephone would already be without the warranty and so I had it up there to the store to see if they maybe have some kind of telephone I just want to do something else and in the background I want to run these thoughts I want to analyze I want to calm I want to clear the situation about what's going on here because this was a real mess and so I go up uh, in this media market and I do some phone purchasing I find the telephones for like 50 slot in new telephones brand new affordable to me I did not find the telephone I would want and ask a stupid question the security officer as I'm about to leave if this store is new if this media market is new tired time already was about six o'clock something like this at night this store was in fact old store this was the biggest miss I did the whole day this was really if I only did one mistake in this whole thing I did one mistake and I did one for the media mark and that I admit that's like a huge joint mistake that's one of the oldest stores I think that store was actually open even in 2010 if I'm not mistaken I don't say anything the only thing I do is I am so disappointed about the whole thing and I asked this question as I'm leaving already downstairs to, to face the situation on the first floor to close the deal I asked the gentleman this was one of the first stores that actually opened this galleria but I'm just so much concentrated on this first floor I just want to go I'm impressed that this, this store is here to and so on big miss, big mistake even right now I have stayed with 2010 I have not looked anywhere on the internet that would suggest me uh, there is no proof that this tablet or whatever it was that was used to, for me to identify this location, the day of opening, whatever, in this mall. But I can tell you this dates all the way to 2010, I think, the opening of Media Mall. Doesn't matter. In six hours, this is the only mistake I did. It. One mistake, basically. Real mistake. And this was under this kind of circumstances. But I want to play that. I want you to hear this mistake I did because, like I said, the whole six hours of recording are going to be transmitted on the internet. I got nothing to hide really. I'm in this store talking about these telephones, and that's about it. This is the point. The point is not to hide anything, basically.